Hello. Today, where are we at, Brandon? We, and what are we doing? We are at a resort on Disney property. Hold on. Yacht. Yeah. Okay, it's Yacht and Beach Club, right? But it's two resorts yes. that people usually just call Yacht and Beach Club. Yes. So it's actually just the Yacht Club? This is the Yacht Club side. The other side is the Beach Club But side. it's one big resort or is it two separate resorts? There's two separate resorts. Okay. So technically we could just call it the Yacht Club. Okay. Anyway, so we are here to eat somewhere that is brand new for me. Have you eaten here before? No. Okay, oddly enough, time. neither of us has eaten here before. Are you ready for this reveal? We are finally eating at Yachtsman Steakhouse. Will it be? Will it be? The top steak in Beat Out Topolino's. <laughs> Probably not. But even if it's a delicious steak, I will be happy. Maybe it will. Um, so yeah, we've never been, now we've been by it a trillion times, yep. too many times to count. We've we go to beaches and cream. Cup. Yeah, we've been in Cruise Cup, which, which is, is the, the, lounge, attached, yeah. the attached lounge, mm -hmm. right? Um, so we don't fully know what to expect. We know it's a, is it signature? It it's, is. A, it's a signature dining location. So we are clearly dressed extremely nicely with a collar. And this is Hey Hey. hey. <laughs> um, so it's a gorgeous day out. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm with the most gorgeous person in the world oh, for um, with her transitional lenses, which I don't have those yet. My prescription was incorrect. Anyway, whole other story. Leave that in. Oh but, my gosh. No, but um, anyway, so we're here at Yacht and Beach Club. We're going to Yachtsman Steakhouse for the first time ever. Um, we're going to share our first experience with you. Hopefully they won't punish us by being a two top and put us in the middle of everything. If watch some other videos, it's if you want possible. to see it, it's possible. So we'll see what we see, but hopefully we're going to get some great food and share, well, for us, a brand new location. Yes, let's go. Ready? Mm -hmm. So our bread service came. I got regular gluten filled bread. Sarah got, of course, gluten free. And um, Beverly's been awesome since she's our server so far. So far, she's been awesome so far. She's our server. Um, but I got two different things of bread. Um, I don't know what they are. But uh, one I think was like an onion pull apart bread. Okay, Maybe. probably this one. And we really got good. some nice butter with some sea salt on it. And then also while Brandon's doing that, lovely things of roasted garlic. What's the word? Really good. Is it good? What's the butter like? Nice and warm. Butter's awesome. Very salty. So um, whatever bread this is, I'm sure Sarah might put a caption for sure or something like that. I don't know. But this was delicious. I'm going to try the other bread they brought me, which is... Looks like a generic roll. A generic roll. I think they make them in-house, though. And while that is happening, we also got Brandon and his whiskey flight. I have wine coming. This is not bad. Slightly above average roll. This is a much above average roll. I don't want to say great. I'm not going to lie and say it's a great roll, but it is a much above average roll. Very good on this. I can't wait for Sarah to try it because the butter is really good and Sarah gets to try the garlic. Okay, so I got the allergy friendly uh, gluten free rolls, you can see here. But I am going to do the butter so you can get also get non dairy butter. And then I got some of the roasted garlic out. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put this that. on. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's eating. Oh my! And <laughs> well, if I wanted to ward off vampires, I would be all good with that because. Does that everyone is... remember Buffy the Vampire Slayer? <laughs> this is delicious. It's not super um, pungent with garlic. The garlic it's you kind said, of right? sweet because it's gotten roasted. So nice. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely digging into that. And what do you think of the butter? The butter's very good too. Okay, but that's it's all the, about the garlic. It's all about the garlic. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, solid, um, solid, rice. solid rolls yeah. with the garlic.
All right, so we just ordered our entree. So Beverly again, our server came. So I'm gonna have my second one. This is the Angels Envy, I believe she told me. And also while Brandon's taking a sip, Look at that consistency. it's pretty. Brandon was a little sad because he tried to get French onion soup, but it does have chicken stock here. So he was denied the French onion, but he's, we're both getting wedge salads. My nostrils are burning and it's wonderful. There it is. You think that's the Angels Envy? I'm pretty sure it's the okay. Angels Envy. Let's have the including water. And the last one. I forgot what it is. I think that's what her is. Okay. Listen. As all bourbon slash whiskey connoisseurs such as myself understand that are experts in the field, that really don't know much. You just love the taste. But um, after you've had a few sips of whiskey, you're at peace. The world is right for just a split second. All right, we rarely cut back to Sarah with bread. What just, Sarah is going insane with the bread, but not necessarily the bread. Hold it up. Oh, let's look at it. It's so good. And that's the garlic. So Sarah's gone crazy. Flavorful and sweet and roasted. I just love everything about it. That's all. That is all. Yeah. Also, I might become Van Helsing. That, remember, does everyone remember the movie Van Helsing starring um, Hugh, Jackman. Hugh Jackman? I don't think it was that good. I think it was the same guy that directed The Mummy, um, but I'm not positive on that. I could be wrong, and Sarah might put a correction up right here somewhere. But um, yeah, Van Helsing, it was meant to be a, a series of films. It didn't do so hot, understandably. Um, does everyone remember The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Oh All right, so Sarah, oh my gosh. Oh. you make a good decision and then you realize yeah. we should have put this? Yeah, we could. I'm going to pan down and uh, we've already cut it apart. a half of a thing of lettuce. So this is a wedge salad. Um, it's more gluten free. It's pretty allergy friendly. There is dairy in it. Um, it's got blue cheese, but we're going to, I'm assuming it's, actually, you know what? I do know it can be easily modified. They do have a vegan dressing here. There we go. So pro tip. Uh oh, what, what just happened? What just happened, everyone? You don't love that bacon. Oh, there's bacon? Mm -hmm. Oh, there is. I didn't even notice it's it. It's like a candied bacon. Outstanding. The dressing is actually very light. I thought it would be maybe more of a classic like blue cheese like kind of dressing, but it's very, it's like a light vinaigrette. The egg on the side is super interesting. All right, so uh, Sarah, it's a winner? Yeah, it's such an interesting take on a wedge salad. Oh, a different I like it. Yeah, I like it because, again, I was assuming it would have that classic kind of steakhouse creamy dressing. Okay. It's very light. I love the candied elements to it, the salt from the bacon. I cannot wait to hear a brand new test of this. All right, I'm going to... Also, we should have this. Yeah, we absolutely should have, but we didn't know. We didn't know. All right, so my turn to take a bite of the white salad. Now, Sarah, is this what you're talking about with the bacon? Let me see. Yes, that's my turn. That's what I figured, so let's uh, get a bite of that now. And everyone, before I even take a bite, Sarah's right. So, reference for you in case you visit Matsman Steakhouse at the Yacht Beach Club Resort. Split those. Split, you can split those split it, apps. Unless you really want it. By all means, get it yourself. Like, we did not expect the size of this. We really didn't. But let's try mine. I know. Let's just cut to the chase. Listen, everybody. There it is. Is this the best salad on Disney property? Oh, I don't know about that, but it's pretty good. Name cool. one better, sir. Uh, I don't know. I can't think I, of I'm being my serious head. right now. I'm not saying it is. It's pretty good. It is pretty dang good. Um, I don't know what more to say. Sarah said it. I'm. This is insanely good. There it is. It, is this there it is ultra? I feel like it's this could be a there it is. Let me try one more. As everyone knows, we can't waste the there it is ultras. That's true. I think you've only done a few of those. Yeah. There it is ultra. Boom, 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 boom. Listen. There might be a better pop, there might be a better salad on Disney property. I don't know. Not that I've had at least. Um, I'm just going to dig into this, enjoy it. Sarah loves it. I love it. 
highly recommend. All right, so we forgot Sarah already has had a few sips of this. Oh, yeah. But um, Sarah, mm -hmm. Sarah's wine came. Yeah, I'll read the caption when I figure out what it is. So, it's, uh, well, it's a Pinot Noir. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Good, I've had a few sips. She has. It's good. It's a standard Pinot Noir. If you like California Pinot Noirs, you will probably like this. It's not overly heavy, but it has a nice depth of flavor. It's going to be great with the steak. A depth of flavor. Does everyone remember Flavor Flav? You know what time it you is. You see the guy? I think I always call him TikTok. He had the walk. Yeah, I, I know him as TikTok. But that was, he and I came up together. We, yeah, yeah. when we grew up together, we called him um, TikTok. But I guess uh, mainstream people call him uh, Flavor Flav. Oh my gosh. Well, Flavor Flav would also like this. He probably noir. would, actually. <laughs> um, so if you like Pinot Noir, definitely nice. But also, it's not a super hurry ride. It's kind of in between um, a little bit on the lighter side so I like that. Awesome. Yeah, we got Okay, entrees came. Oh my gosh, some of the coolest plates ever. Can we just say, first of all, as with all steakhouses, you can split all the things. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to take a bite of my mashed potatoes because I, I used a fork to split our potatoes. Yep, we split everything already. Uh oh, what does this mean? What does this mean? Can't wait for you to try those. Okay. Describe. So creamy. Process. There is so much butter in that. Okay. So if you are dairy free, you don't want to stay away from that. It's a no go. That's a no go. But let me try the steak real quick. Oh, you do so the steak. So we both got the fillet. It looks great. Mm. Excellent fillet. Really good flavor. The the cook on it is amazing. I love the char on it. I feel like right yeah. here, the char. Yeah. Super good. Char. Very flavorful. We're going to talk about comparison with Toplinos. Toplinos, still better. Still better. Yeah, yeah. This is really good. Good. But, and um, now what do we got? What we got the upcharge to get the truffle fries. So I'm going to try them on plane. What is going on with Sarah's face today? Is she just loving everything here? Oh, she, hold on. Hold on. I'm what'd Brandon just, with the potatoes right now. What'd you just dip in? What'd you just dip? Uh, black garlic aioli. Okay. You will not like that. I won't dip. Oh, this really? This is very, very garlic. I think they basically take the roasted garlic that they gave for the um, bread and put it in this. Gotcha, um, gotcha. So let's look at that again. So good. The sides are phenomenal. The steak is excellent. If you like classic steakhouse food, I think this is a very good option. Okay. Um, not tomatoes. No. But you know what? Yeah. This <laughs> is a very nice place. Awesome. Food is great. Glad we finally came. All right, so I'm going to be trying the same things that Sarah just did, except I also got this, the insanity Ridiculous of this mac and cheese. Ridiculous. But let's try the steak first. Okay. It's a good oh, steak. That char. I know. We, I don't use the word char, but seriously, I mean, it's so char. Does everyone remember Charmander from Pokemon? Charmander. Char, oh, Char. No. Pick, pick, he evolved pick into... Two. Charizard? Charizard, yeah. And then there was one other bigger one. Oh, the triple I don't evolution. remember all the evolutions. Right. Mm. This is Topolino. No, not everything's going to be Topolino. This whole, this whole experience has been solid. This just... Yeah, awesome. We'll be back. Next, let's just try a quick bite of the uh, truffle fries, right? Yes. Really good. Brandon says just okay. Yeah, but really Brandon good. is a potato connoisseur. I am. They're like hand cut fries though. I do like yeah, that. Yeah, no, they're really good. Highly recommended in terms of... You're not going to go wrong. I'm going to say that. You're not going to go wrong. Can you try the mashed potatoes? This is the true test. That's what I said. I don't know if they're the best potatoes on property, but they are pretty darn close. Oh my god. Not kidding. I'm going to bestow upon all our viewers. There it is. Listen. Are these the best potatoes on property? We had issues at Kona last time we went, but Kona still might have the best overall 
We've had a couple of bad experiences with Tony mashed potatoes, but still they're really good. If these are not the best potatoes on property, they are the second best. Um, you like them too, right? Yeah, oh, they're, they're amazing. Good. These are, I'm gonna have one more bite, everyone. Everyone, because you can't be here with us. We wish you were here with us. I'm gonna eat for you. There it is. First or second best potatoes on property. Mm -hmm. Best salad on property. One of the best steaks on property. You're not going to be coping. But now let's try. Oh gosh, I'm I'm actually kind of scared for you with this mac and cheese. Yeah, I am too. It's either going to be like just okay or amazing. Oh, it looks cheesy. Okay, okay, okay. All right, everyone. If I'm messy, I'm sorry. Everyone, Yachtsman Steakhouse. There it is, infinite. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. I wish Sarah, I, Sarah can't eat these, of course. I wish she could. I think she would love them. Obviously, we're not going to finish everything in front of us because, well, we're not. But, wow. We're going to do a full debrief. Okay, Yasmin Steakhouse. Yeah, Yasmin Steakhouse. Why did we miss it for so long? I don't know. We've walked by it a thousand times. We live right here. We... I want to learn how to say it. That's how much I love Yasmin Steakhouse. I want to get on a yacht with Sarah, eat this food, and then sail away. Everyone sing the Inya song, Orinoco Flow. Sail away, in the Orinoco Flow. Oh, from no. Fiji. To Can to we eat our home. food? Yeah, let's eat everything. Okay. Rockman Steakhouse. I am in shock. It's amazing. All right, so I'm just going to say Sarah did get dessert. Um, now, we had a choice. This isn't like on a Disney cruise where, you know, they bring it out or they don't bring it out. This is, we uh, we did order this, but we're going to pan Sarah's taking one for the team. Yeah, Sarah's taking one for Actually, I'm trying this because I thought it might be very similar to what we had at Topolino's, which was outstanding. The one rare creme brulee I actually like. So, Yes, everyone, I got a creme brulee. And the only reason I got it is, again, because we saw photos, and it looked like the one from Topolino's, which was really good. So we're going to give it a try. And as everyone knows, Sarah does not like creme brulee oh, normally. No. And sounds like she doesn't like this one either. Oh. No, this is more like regular creme brulee. So not it's Topolino's. Not Topolino's level. Yeah. I like the cherries on the side. Okay. So as of now, then, you've only taken a bite or two, but... uh. I'm going to say, it's in between. It's like an in between... Because it's more, you can see, it's not a container, so it has a firmer texture, which I like. It's less of like kind of that standard creamy creme brulee texture. Cherry's good. The crust is on top. The actual flavor of the creme brulee is nice, but um, I would not get this again. I'm going to say... That's fair. Okay. Not amazing. All right. Dinner done. All right, everybody. We're going to try to keep it short and punchy, which if you watch the channel, you know it's not going to happen. Probably not. But I want to do something I don't think I've we've done. I want to start out with the vaguest to vague negatives so we can only focus on the positives. Then. Okay. And negative, which isn't even negative. The creme brulee. Creme brulee, yeah. Um, okay. Go ahead, Sarah. We all know I do not like creme brulee. This creme brulee looked very similar to the one that we had at Topolino's, which was... Yeah not really with creme brulee yeah. like the texture was totally different all i have to say is for every restaurant the creme brulee is the only gluten free option i'm stop it, trying to make creme brulee happen yeah everyone it's not gonna happen it's not it's gonna like, happen it's not gonna happen yeah and what do we, and what do we do sir the creme brulee <laughs> so, <laughs> that, and everyone we expect you to do that to creme brulee yeah <laughs> we don't like it <laughs> yeah we don't <laughs> but um we tried it um the topping to me was actually quite delicious, but the, the rest of it, the, the texture. Like the berry stuff on the side was really yeah. good, but the texture. So that's the one thing of the dinner. That's why I wanted to start this out because this was an incredible dinner. Yeah. But we did not like the dessert. Yeah, desserts, they just need to get better. Yeah. Uh, it's always yeah. allergy creme brulee, time. creme brulee. Now, if you like creme brulee, that's awesome. Yeah, but you might like this. You might like this, but I do not. Sarah does not. 
And most of the people we've spoken to that are gluten free and everything are not the biggest Creme Brulee fans because no. I think because it's just not very like, am I right? You've been not forced, but quote forced yeah. to have it so Stop much. Stop with the Creme Brulee. That's my only yeah. option. So, Anyways, other than that, let's focus on all the positives. <laughs> yeah, I thought this was an amazing dinner. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. I thought it would be solid, but yeah, I didn't think it would be maybe bad. Maybe underwhelming. I kind of felt like it was gonna be like our Narcusis visit, where it was like eh, it's kind no, of like the nineties, and no. the food's not the best. Listen, everybody. Listen, everybody. No. If you have not watched our Nar- Narcusis vlog review, which is what, about a year ago now. Yeah. You may not want to watch it, actually. actually <laughs> I can't you believe... probably shouldn't because Maybe it's being you refurbished. Should. It's being refurbished. Narcusi's, like like uh, like Yachtsman Steakhouse and many other locations on Disney property, is signature dining. But this is not Narcusi's is a joke. But, yeah, um, it's just been around for a really long time, and I think it needs... Re- and it is getting a refurbishment. <laughs> so we did so do a review on that. it's getting a refurbishment, and we will gladly go with oh, the refurbishment 100%. when it's open. Well, it, but Let's focus on Yachtsman. Focus on Yachtsman. Yeah, so fo- bring it. What was that? Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. So Step it back to the ledge. I did anticipate it to be just okay, and I was pleasantly surprised yeah. by the overall yeah. options and the quality of the I agree. food. I agree. The service and even the theme of the restaurant. Yeah, I love the theme. Um, to me, it felt like, again, you would think, I'm assuming you would think, I don't want to speak for anyone watching this, you would probably think I went to Yale or Harvard or something like that. I mean, most would assume that, of course. Um, multiple degrees, you know, all that stuff. But for real, it felt like a Yale, a Harvard. It's, I mean, it's Yachtsman Steakhouse. It's all wood and with steak and with a boat out front. You know what I mean? You want to go sailing after Very kind of upscale. Yeah, it, yeah, it was very cool. Um, I like the theming a lot. Um, and I guess you did too? Yeah, I think it looked less dated than I anticipated it being. Yeah. So, overall, yeah. I thought the theme was good. Um, I would say in terms of the food, the bread service, yeah, you're getting the same allergy-friendly bread, yeah. but that but, garlic and the butter, yeah, here, I, We don't so do this often. Good. But, go ahead, Sarah. How was that garlic? <laughs> so, I would say that if you like garlic, uh, definitely try the garlic bulb that has the roasted garlic in it and then even the truffle fries we got had like a black garlic aioli and it was just amazing garlic (laughs) i loved it i (laughs) probably smell like garlic from a mile away right now but it was outstanding salad salad was actually awesome best on property again i think so off the top of my head but i'm not saying it actually is but um i'm gonna I know, I think one of the best wedge salads that a lot of people consider is probably what's going to be a brown derby, but, right? Oh, that's a Cobb salad. A Cobb, I'm sorry. Which ignore is what I just said. salad. Yeah, ignore what I just said. But this wedge salad was incredible. However, my only recommendation is split it. That's it. Just, yeah, we learned a lesson. Yep, yeah. We did, although we both ate. Pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. Pretty much everything. We really both enjoyed it. Yep. So that was really good. I love the flavors of that. And then in terms of the steak... You know what? You love Topolinos. You're not going to beat Topolinos You're not going right to beat Maybe right somebody now. someday is going to beat Topolinos. We hope, we hope they I do. Hope they do. I hope they do. But this was, I would, it's definitely within the top five. It's in the top Maybe five. Maybe top three. Yeah, it might be. We, we, it's been a while since we've done like a top three or five whatever stakes on property. We might have to sit back and really discuss it. Maybe know, do that one day. We've had some new ones enter the game, like yeah. Earth Club's new one. Yeah, come on. What the heck, Turf Club? I know. Amazing. I don't know where. This was incredible. I overused the word char on top because unlike Sarah and obviously you guys like my mom, uh, Mama Joy, who has reviewed once with us, um, Sarah, Mama Joy, other people can do a lot of actual reviews. I just say it's charry. I don't know. But for real. It was time. great grill flavor. Yeah, and it was, I would the say char that, was actually really good. We can smell. I'm pointing back here because it's back behind Ooh. the restaurant and you can actually smell the grill right now. Like, yeah. It's just phenomenal. Did Sides. everyone everyone smell that? We good? Smell the vision. Size phenomenal. Yeah. Maybe the best smashed potatoes um, on property. It, truffle fries were. Truffle fries. You didn't like them as much as I did. Oh, I, I really enjoyed. Let them. me rephrase what Sarah said. She is right. I liked them quite a bit, but she really liked them. Yeah, because I love. I like that they were like hand cut fries yeah. and yeah. the aioli. I think because I was having the sauce and bread, and that was awesome. Um, mashed potatoes. I want to double down on what uh, Sarah just said. If Big if. If they are not the best mashed potatoes on property, they're second best. 
Um, I, I gotta, we gotta retry Kona again. The yeah, thing is, Kona has pound for pound over the years, probably the best mashed potatoes on property. That's where hashtag, I can't remember, Kona Amazing comes yeah. from. The issue is, which we won't go into this now, if you want a video on this, leave a comment. Um, the last two times at Kona, yeah, they, they've been all sorts of It's weird. been weird. We didn't vlog it. It would have probably not gone well for a vlog. Um, yeah, we've had some weird experiences. We've had some weird experiences we didn't really talk about or go into. Yeah. We, we could if you want. But um, this is this was this, let me ask you this. Was this mashed potato, were these mashed potatoes better than Kona on their normal good days? I don't know. It's neck and neck for me. It's neck and I agree. Yeah. Um, right now, would you agree? Let's consider it a tie for now. Yeah, they're definitely tough. Yeah, you're not going to, yeah, Kona so good. and Yachts and Steakhouse mashed potatoes, it, it, you almost can't yeah. discuss and it. And there's a ton of gluten-free sides, a ton that can be dairy-free or are dairy-free. We saw tons of people getting different kinds of sides, yeah. and everything looked really good. And size, again, sizable portion. So this yep. is really a steakhouse with steakhouse sides, so plan to share. Yep. Next time, we're going to just split to and share because yeah absolutely it was too much um only other thing i got of course the mac and cheese sarah couldn't have it but i uh so i'm only gonna speak for myself it i think it's the best mac and cheese on property can you think of anyone else i really love? i mean i love a few you others you really like the one from california grill you this is really better than california liked, grill i'm trying to think of some other Gico. you really like Ooh, wait a minute now no it's better than Gico by, okay. little, by a little bit okay Gico's delicious though i'm trying to think of some other ones we'll, we'll think about that we'll think about it but <sighs> None come to mind right now. If you like mac and cheese, this is a must get. Must get. Um, if you get it and don't like it, tell me. I'll pay you for it. I won't. That's a joke. Uh, don't hold me to that. It's not legally binding. But um, delicious. Absolutely delicious. I wish Sarah could have had them. She did comment. They, they, look, they look really good. good. Um, it, delicious. Again, like kind of like we said about the steak, if it's not the top one or two, actual mac and cheese it, it's in the top three but i think yeah. it might be number one so. yeah i would say everything everything except for the dessert to me was yeah. excellent yep that's why i want to start with dessert yeah. um, beverly air server was excellent um the only other slight thing that i was like i hope they improve it at some point yeah. is i was not impressed with the wine list or the cocktail well, list you did it say was that so yeah talking about that very limited it was not great so yeah, um, the wine list you're talking about. Yeah, so. I just felt like the wine list was pretty limited she and did not say very that creative. So that's something I hope that they will maybe think about and adjust in the future. Same with the cocktails. There were not really a lot of yeah, cocktails. Yeah, there's more like your after dinner drinks, yeah. your ports, your scotches. Yep. So I suppose that fits the steakhouse. Yeah. Thing, but I would have liked a more impressive wine list than what they had. And um, I just want to say that Sarah did mention that even before she ordered wine. She was going through the list yeah, and everything. Limited. Yeah, it was very limited. Well, you have two sparklings and that's yeah. it. Like, what a pet, guys. So, but overall, though, okay. solid recommend. Yeah. Solid. I'm really glad we went. I'm very I glad I will we went. definitely, hopefully, go back for maybe another, like, a special occasion yeah. kind of thing or bring family here. But food was great. I'm yeah. very glad we went and it was delicious. Yeah, awesome. But anything else? No, that's it. All right. Other than that, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon. Everyone's absolutely incredible. Thank you to our subscribers. Uh, please like, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. And uh, other than that. Other than that. <laughs> we're going to roll Brandon home. Yep. And I'm going to prepare our steaks and vampires. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And by steaks, she means S-T-A-K-E-S. See what I did there? I get it. All I right. get it. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye.